doing another chatty get ready with me video today. Not too sure what kind of a look I'm going to do, but I do know that I want to use this new lipstick that I got. It's Revlon Ultra HD lip color in the shade Twilight. Kind of a vampy purple color. A little bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, foundation today. I'm still playing with the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Uh, I'm going to use just a teeny amount, like a quarter of a pump, with my fingers. I'm going to warm the product up and just kind of tap it into the skin, kind of around the center of the face. my last video I applied it with a brush, which worked okay, but I'm kind of still testing out different ways of applying this. Just really using the warmth of my fingers to kind of work that product into the skin. And then I'm going to go over it with a damp sponge. don't really want a big mask of foundation today. I just want something light and fresh. Just kind of evening out the redness in my T-zone. Keeping it really light everywhere else. Hmm, I like that. I think I like that even better than with the brush. Alright, concealer. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me again. You're probably going to see <laughs> repeat products a lot on this channel because when I find something that works for me, I tend to just stick with it, especially with the base products. Eyeshadow and blush and lipstick and things, I tend to experiment and play a lot more, but anything to do with the skin, if it works well for me, I just get really attached and keep using the same thing. I'm going to try and go quick here and keep the video from being too long because the last one was almost a half hour and it took ages to upload and ain't nobody got time for that. All right, setting under the eyes with my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and Real Techniques Setting Brush. And on to brows. NYX Brow Mascara in Brunette. Not super chatty today. It's supposed to be a chatty get ready with me. Uh, NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. I'm really trying to use less product on my brows. I feel like I get a little carried away with it sometimes.
You ever watching a tutorial or a get ready with me and then the person's doing their brows and then they kind of just keep going and going and then you get to the point where you would stop and you're like, no, stop, it looks good, it's fine. And then they go just a little bit more. I think I've had too much, too much coffee for this. I don't know what it is. Some days I get my brows just spot on. <laughs> Other days I'm like, eh, I just kind of get in there and flail the pencil around and hope for the best. That'll do. Uh, where did I put my eyeshadow primer? Wet n Wild Photo Focus. So what are we getting ready for today? Probably some grocery shopping. Maybe if the weather stays nice, I'll take my son for a walk and stroller. All right, eyeshadow. With my vampy purple lipstick, I think I'm going to use some soft eyeshadows. Some soft neutrals. This is a Chanel quad in number 226 Tisse Rivoli. And I want a clean eyeshadow brush, Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. I'm going to start with the lightest shade, I think. Just really loading my brush up with that. And I'm going to just take it all over the lid. all over the lid and right on up to the brow bone. Just using this as a base. Sometimes if I want a little more intensity on the lid, I'll just use my finger. And then I'm gonna take this kind of uh, mid-tone, it's kind of a light golden color. And I'm just gonna sweep that through the crease. And slightly above, so the way my eyes are shaped, if I don't go slightly above, it doesn't really show. I have pretty deep set eyes. And then I just keep going back and forth, kind of building up the color until it reaches the intensity that I want. Then, A smudger brush from Eco Tools. I'm gonna take the darkest shade in the quad, which is kind of a warm, plummy brown color. And I'm just gonna smudge that all along the lash line. Kind of 
bring it up on the outer corner to meet that color that I put in the crease. Not being too precise with this, just really slapdash. Hoping I can maybe get away without liner, but I don't know if this shadow will have enough depth to it. Probably gonna have to use a liner. I'm just going back to that, uh, I always go to the wrong side, back to that lighter golden color. I'm just going to run some of that underneath. Needs liner, I think. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury Classic Eye Powder Pencil in Audrey. Just right into the roots of the lashes. And smudging with my brush. color in the crease, just back to that golden shade. a flesh colored pencil on the waterline. This is Walk of Shame from Urban Decay. It's one of their waterline pencils they came out with a while ago, which really aren't that much different than their regular 24-7 pencils, to be honest. But I like this color for adding just a little bit more brightness to the waterline really good on those mornings when that water line's looking a bit pink and you kind of have that baby rabbit look. Right. Super Sizer Mascara from CoverGirl.
try not to stab myself this time. Mascara on the bottom. I think we'll leave the eyes there for now. Spend some time finishing off my base. I think I'll go over everything with a little bit of powder foundation, just to kind of even things out a bit more, boost the coverage. Longtime favorite product of mine, Almost Powder Makeup from Clinique. Go Tools brush. I think I have shade one, fair. Sometimes I buy the shade two, which they're really similar. Just kind of taking that over the side of my face here where I have some pigmentation. Now, what shade of blush do I want with my vampy purple lipstick? Hmm, I think I'll go for this one from the Balm. It's one of their In Stain blushes, and the shade is Houndstooth, which is kind of a nice, cool-toned pink, I guess you could say. Round powder brush from Eco Tools. Pigmented. I'm used to that Urban Decay one that I've been using, which is not, not as strongly pigmented, so I have to be a bit more careful with this. This one from the Balm. Highlight? Yes, I think we're going to highlight. Hmm, which color? I think I'm, since I'm going with cooler tones today, I might go with a paler highlight. I think I'm going to use Moonstone from Becca. This was a Christmas gift from my sister years ago and has been very well loved. using Champagne Pop a lot. Moonstone's a little bit paler and frostier and I prefer it when I wear cool tones. Just hitting all the usual spots. And then I like to go over it with my fingers. Time for spot concealing. Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in SC2. All 
Alright, I think it's good enough. I might actually just hit my under eye area with a little bit of that powder foundation just to boost the coverage on the dark circles a little bit. And now it's time for the lipstick. Revlon Ultra HD Gel Lip Color in Twilight. I have a vampy purple with a blue pearl. Nothing crazy, it's not frosty or over the top, but it's kind of a bold color. It's not a very spring-like color, but I don't care. It's what I feel like wearing today. I don't really have a lip pencil that matches this color, so I'm just going to use my Annabelle liner in Rosy. Meet Rosy, I think it's called. Just hit the very edge of my cupid's bow and a little bit underneath. And there you have it. My not so chatty chatty get ready with me featuring the purple lipstick that I'm going to wear to the grocery store. You guys have yourself a good day. Hit that subscribe button if you feel like it and I'll see you in the next one.